Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Flyboys. Today is such an amazing day to be on the Flyboys server, guys. You aren't gonna believe what I got in store for you today. Like, this is something that I didn't even know was possible, but I did a little trying, I did a little experimenting, and this, dude, I can't believe it's possible. So today, we're gonna be making a top-down plane shooter in Minecraft. That's right. Yeah, you think it's not possible? Oh, it's possible. <laughs> so this morning, I was waking up, and I had a little idea. Why am I holding this shotgun? <laughs> I had a little idea. And I got this idea from a dream I had. I was like, I was waking up. You know what? you're waking up and you feel like you're still dreaming? I don't know what happened, but I was in and out of consciousness and I had this crazy idea. I was like, wait a minute. I think I could create a top-down plane shooter in Minecraft with the mods that we have. Okay, so let's make this thing. Let's make the fulcrum. Oh, we got the fulcrum. Okay. <laughs> so we, we're gonna need this. Oops, oh yeah. Um, that's something. Let me show you that real quick. I made this during the stream, but uh, yeah, this is this is something actually in the new update. So this is this is a plate where you walk on it and it teleports you. What's it called? What's it called? It is called a something translocation plate. You make it with a uh, uh, you take a plate frame, which is like the signal I'm mean get, and you put hardened glass. You throw some melted uh, resonant ender in there and you got yourself a thing. So it can teleport you forward, backward, left, right, wherever you want, or up. So I just made that to get in and out of the sub very quickly. But back on topic. So this is gonna be a top-down plane shooter in Minecraft. Like, oh, I was waking up, you know, and I'm like, okay, maybe that's possible. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, yes, yes. This is possible. <laughs> so the first thing, the first way I thought about doing it was, well, let me show you. Let's set this down and let me show you some of the ideas that I had. Hopefully this face is the right way. Please face the correct way on the runway. Thank you so much, Cubulus, for making this runway. Yes, it's facing the right way. So let's hop in here and let me show you guys the first thing that I was thinking. So if you hit F5, you go into F, or you go into third person mode. Now, you keep pressing page up, and it keeps zooming out. You hit F, or you hit left control, and you have a free look. So, this is what I was thinking, you know, you go, you just go, you know, like a side scroller, like this, and you go up and down. Problem is, when you're in this free look, you can't go up and down easily. It's not easy, but you can go top down, Look, we're we're already in a top-down shooter. This is it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you can do this, and you can actually go left and right. You can't really go up and down, but you you will go straight in the Y plane. So this was my idea. You start off in this plane, and you have three different weapons. You got the machine gun. You got rockets. You got this, which is basically like a rocket that shoots wherever you point it. And you got this lock on. So this is useless. This is lock ons for other vehicles. Now, what I gotta do is set up this course. So I'm thinking for this course, you'll start off on this, you'll start out on this runway, and you'll go out, and it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a little bit to get your bearings. So you gotta get to, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe 25. Y equals 25. Make sure you got it straight, and then when you do, then you're ready to go. So I'm thinking maybe like around this area, start putting up the obstacles. So it's gonna be obstacles here. You're gonna have to shoot some targets. You shoot your machine gun, rockets, all that kind of stuff. And, I, okay. So I might have to, I'm hoping there's some land out here. It looks like something's starting to form, but I might have to do something where you land or maybe you'll come back. Anyway. There were a lot of challenges setting this up. So I was like, okay, what are you gonna hit? So I set up like, what was it? These anti-blocks or something. Anti-blocks, so these anti-blocks, they're really cool looking, they're bright, you know, it's it could be a really cool target, but 
you can't shoot them with the guns. You can shoot them, but nothing happens. And I was like, well, let's do glass. It wouldn't break the glass. And then I was thinking about it, I'm like, man, it stinks, I'm gonna have to redo everything. But then I remembered, I got the NPC wand, baby. <laughs> so I got this NPC wand, so I'll just make NPCs. And when you kill them, they'll just respawn, and I can set a time for them to respawn. So everything was working out perfect. Now the next challenge, the next challenge was, how am I gonna do this on water and make this set up like relatively quickly because I don't want to, I don't want to go all the way down there and like be building up blocks from the bottom. Then I remembered, I can walk on water. Whoops, <laughs> a little far there. I can walk on water. So that's pretty amazing. And that's from this Tinker's Armor. So I got this water walking from the Traveler's Boots. No, that's not Tinker's. It might be. Don't quote me on that. It might be Tinker's. Let's go with that. <laughs> Either way, I can walk on water. So this is going to be amazing. And then I was like, okay, okay, okay. How about placing a lily pad and then placing a block? Hello. <laughs> so this is how we're gonna do it. Now, the way I wanna do this, I, and I have to use these blast resistant blocks because there's rockets and I don't want the rockets to blow up regular blocks. So I hope this is gonna be enough, these basic blast walls. I think it's gonna be enough. If not, I can just make more. But I think we got a good setup. So now, the next thing to do is head out here and start picking a spot, start setting up the targets, and dude, we're almost ready to go on this. So I'm gonna make a cut, I'm gonna start setting up the targets, and I will bring you back in once once I'm getting stuff settled. Hello, you big old piggy over there. <laughs> so guys, I wanted to give you a little update how we're coming so far. So you got that big pig over there, you see some services over there. This is what we're looking at. So you're gonna fly out here, and this is where it starts. And I'm gonna have everybody set up this waypoint. So before anyone starts, I'm gonna tell them, okay, put in the coordinates for this waypoint so that way they can know where it starts. And I'll, I'll set up a waypoint for the end too. So you got one here, you got a target here, one here, boom, 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 like this. And then when you get to this one, it's gonna get a little tricky. These are all kinda in the air, all at the same level. This one is closer to the ground. And with this one, I made a big surface, and you're gonna have to switch to a different weapon to get this one. There's a rocket that shoots straight down, and that's the one this is gonna be. So let me show you. I wanted to do a pick for all those, but for this one, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do this NPC pony. Look at this thing. <laughs> it looks hilarious. The eyes aren't even level with each other. Oh man, I think this is gonna be pretty funny. So we'll throw the stats, same thing, stats of five, uh, retaliate. Really, I don't think this is gonna change anything. As soon as you hit them, they're dead. Put them on the aggressive faction, and oh my goodness, that's a big horse. <laughs> oh man, that's huge, okay. So this, I think, is the sixth one. So let's do let's do a few more. Let's make it so we got 10 and then we'll do a trial run. Hopefully it works out pretty well. I'm really excited to give this a try and see how it works. So I'm thinking for the last target, I'm gonna make it a little bit more challenging. This is number 10, target 10. I'm making it a little bit more challenging. We're gonna leave the size at five, so it's gonna be smaller, harder to hit. And I'm thinking let's make it Let's make it a chicken. You gotta hit a chicken to win. <laughs> so we'll keep the health down, health at, we'll keep that at five. You can hit it and it's dead. And put it on aggressive, aggressive chicken. <laughs> and we're gonna actually, I transition to gravel because boom. This is a much easier way to get up and down. So that's what I transitioned to. So guys, we got all the targets set up. You know what time it is? It's time to give this baby a test run. So I got a long ways to run, but at least we can run pretty fast on water, especially when I'm holding the screwdriver, that speeds us up. 
and I gotta fill up the airplane with gas, fill it up with ammo, and dude, let's give this thing a test run. Okay, so now that we're back, let's head into the airplane, fill her up with gas, fill her up with ammo, please get in, fill it up, and I'm gonna show you guys some of the mechanics of how this is gonna work, why it's gonna be challenging, and um, just how, yeah, basically how everything works. So let's reload, this is the machine gun. We're gonna wanna use the machine gun, the rockets, oh, 40 rockets, that's good, and the KH 25 ML, I don't even know what that means. We don't wanna use the R60 because I believe that is a lock-on, and lock-on is not gonna apply here. So let's get up in the air, and I'm gonna show you how this all is gonna work. And I think this is gonna be enough runway. Please be enough runway. Oh, please be enough. Oh, that was close, okay. So I'm thinking, oh wow, we're really high. We're really high in the sky. I'm thinking if we go, let's aim for like 90. Let's aim for 90. Um, okay, we're gonna turn around. We're not gonna try it right now. I wanna, like I said, I wanna show you guys how this is all gonna work and then we'll come around. So let's aim for about 90 for our Y and then you wanna line up. You see those green lines in the middle? You want to line those up with negative 10 because once it hits negative 10, it's going to stay stationary. It's not going to go up or down, but you got to be right on. So it says 92 right there, 92.1, and we got to get it to stay somewhere. So it's a 92.1, 92.2. So I got to move it down just a little bit. Okay, 92.3, 92.2, 92 92.1. So up a little bit. See, this is going to be where it gets a little tricky. 92.0. I think we got it to stay. No, it's at one. Okay, dude, if it's going up that slow, maybe we'll be good. So I hit left control, F5, third person, bring it up, and here we go. Now, <laughs> I made a white waypoint for the end of it and a red waypoint for the beginning. So this is how it works. So the first weapon you have is this machine gun. So that's gonna be a great weapon, but the thing is, it runs out of ammo pretty quickly, so you're gonna have to change to the next weapon, which is, get out of my way, clouds. I'm gonna have to get rid of these clouds. Wow, that's a lot of stinking clouds. <laughs> um, let's turn off the clouds right now. Holy crap, it's like Cloud City. <laughs> okay, get rid of the clouds. So the second weapon, oh no, rockets, oh no. What did that just shoot? <laughs> oh man, good thing it just went in the water. Wow, that was close. That could have shot his airship. But as you can see, the rockets, even though we're going straight forward, the rockets go down a little bit. So you gotta get your timing just right with those. And the last weapon is this. It shoots straight down. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, it shoots straight down but it looks like there has to be some land for you to shoot at. Okay, so you'll see it once we go. All right, you know what? We're lined up. What are we at? We're at 93. Let's see if 93 is a good thing. Okay, so here's a piggy. Here's a piggy. Can I hit him? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, come on. Hit something. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're starting. Now we're starting. Hit the pig. Okay, we're too high, so 90, 93 is a little too high. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> 93 is a little too high. All right, well, let's let's come around again, and we'll give this another try. Can I hit the chicken? No, we're way too high. Yeah, we're at 93 now. Let's lower it a little. All right, guys, so I think I got this to work. I had to make a few changes. As you can see that pad down there, oh wow, we got some mobs down there. That pad is huge. And I noticed that the weapon that shoots straight down, it wasn't picking anything up, but I did it on land. Oh, this guy is still dead. <laughs> I did it on land and it, it worked just fine. So I think I just needed a bigger surface area. Hopefully this works. But I'm thinking we just go beginning to end and do a full 
test run on this thing and it looks like from what I saw it looks like about 85 86 is the Y coordinate that we want to be on for this so I'm gonna give this a try and hopefully it turns out pretty good guys oh man I've been <laughs> I've been working on this for quite a while I gotta tell you it is about 5 a.m. my time now I started really late too but okay okay let's let's come in for a good landing we need a good landing uh oh I think we're gonna land on top of this other airplane that's okay <laughs> that's okay we'll just go right through it okay good thing the physics aren't perfectly like real life <laughs> that could have been a really bad crash so let's turn her around and what we're gonna do is aim for 86 Y coordinate and we're gonna make sure it's zoomed out all the way we'll be in F3 mode and let's just see what kind of score we can get like I don't know I don't know I when I practice I wasn't doing too hot but I as you can see at the top I changed the way my mini map looks it's a circle now so the map changes as I change the one I had before the square it was stationary and my up and down was kind of backwards so hopefully this helps I don't know maybe it'll make it worse we'll see let's give this a try and I made waypoints for every single target I think that's gonna make it easier for everybody let's do this all right so we're aiming for 85 in the Y so it's 60 72 oh we're going up fast maybe a little too fast 81 82 83 oh this is not bad 83.5 Let's go up a little bit more and get it in that 10, 84. Okay, is it going to go up or down? 84.0, 83, it went down a little. Okay, let's go with what we got. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, I got my machine gun ready. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, one pig down. Oh, and I think I got that other pig. Okay, that's two pigs down. Let's switch to the rockets. Let's see if I can get a guy with a rocket. Oh, man, you really got... Oh, wow. You really have to anticipate. Okay, let's see if I can get this one. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, man, I was just over... Oh, wow. Dude, I saw an explosion. I saw an explosion there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take it away, the top-down aspect. Oh, man. It turned so slow. Dude, that was a bad run. <laughs> that was a really bad run. And this is like, this is what I'm gonna call alpha. Like, we're just starting this thing, so I might have to make some adjustments. I might have to make the targets like farther apart. Actually, I really think I'm gonna have to make them farther apart. And, oh man, I might have to make that, that ground target even bigger. So what do we got? We got the machine gun. Oh, actually, you know, there is a way to see what weapon you're using. I might do that. I might do that just so you can see what weapon you're using. Let's try another run at this. There's the chicken. Oh, we might be too high now. Okay, let's get rockets. Oh, it turns so slow. <gasps> okay, come on, baby. Rocket. Oh, we just missed him. All right, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. This is a big test. Oh, we got him! Yes! Okay, so we at least know that works. You just gotta be right on. Oh, man. Oh, we got this guy. We got this guy. Can we get the last? Oh, we got both of them. Nice! <laughs> Dude, okay. Now, am I zoomed out all the way? Yeah, I'm zoomed out all the way. So, guys, let me show you what I was talking about. What are we at? We're at 94. I was kind of going up a little bit there. Uh-oh. I see some rain. Rain is not good. Look at this. Don't don't rain. I'm trying to do something special here. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So with the mod options, you can go to render settings, show HUD third person on, save and close. So now it's kind of messy, but you can at least see which weapon you're on. I don't know how much I like this. So you can see the machine gun, rocket, KH. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it with that off. So we'll turn that off again. But it's at least a cool option. People can do that if they want to. 
All right, let's go back into first person and let's get, let's see if we can get back to 85 in time because we're running out of time here. 93, 92, 91, okay, 88. Okay, here we go, 88, one. Oh man, it's almost about to start. It's about to start. Let's just go with what we got. <laughs> Let's go with what we got. <laughs> All right, the first one is, oh, he's still dead. Okay, so that's another thing I gotta work on. It looks like the timer for these guys goes a little bit too fast. Oh, I'm too high. Oh, no, I wasn't too high. That was nice. Okay, dude, did I hit this guy? No, it's just not respawning fast enough. Okay. Yeah. Or it's, yeah, they're respawning too slow. Dude. This is definitely challenging. Oh, yeah. This is a challenge, but at least it works, guys. We're getting this to work. We have a top-down airplane shooter. It's shooting the pigs. We got it to shoot that pony with that with that launcher that shoots straight down. I hit some with the rockets. Just have to do some tweaking here and there. So guys, I'm actually interested in what kind of ideas you have. If you guys have any ideas, thoughts of uh, ways we can improve this, I am totally down. We're gonna, this is like I said, like alpha testing. We're gonna have to have a beta. We'll have a 2.0. Oh, can I get him? Yes, oh, that hurt me a little bit. <laughs> that hurt me a little bit. Okay, can I get this guy again? No, I missed him. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments any ideas you guys have. I can't believe this actually worked. Like, this is really fun. And I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of potential for it. I really got to change the respawn, make them respawn like maybe instantly. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Oh my goodness, like it. This really was a dream come true. <laughs> I had the dream to do this, and it actually worked out. I wasn't sure it was gonna work out, but it did. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments any ideas you have. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button. It helps out more than you know. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next Flyboys. The drafting table. And now you, I know, I know, I know you probably already have seen this, but maybe you haven't. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, don't crash. Dude, I, I gotta be careful, man. Oh no.